And welcome back to Talk to the Town. My next guest is Becky Ingebrigtsen from a &B Fitness Concepts. Welcome, Becky. Hi, thank you. Yeah, good to have you with us. So uh, talk to us a little bit about what is a &B Fitness Concepts and what it is that you do. How would you best describe it to yeah. potential clients? We, so a &B Fitness Concepts is a fitness studio. So we have group exercise classes. We have personal training, um, weight loss support groups. Um, but we're really so much more than just the classes themselves. Uh, we're a smaller studio, so people are there just to work out. Like they're there for a class, they're there for personal training. Kind of fast, in and out, efficient. But we take a lot of time to also offer educational seminars. Um, we do a couple of events throughout the year and just really try to educate our clients sure. too and then make it more about a whole wellness package. Yeah, the whole the whole wellness package I think is huge. People people need to. It's not just exercising. It's not just eating right. It's all of those things. Everything put together and how you live your life and, and and really achieving those fitness goals. Right. Absolutely. So speaking of fitness goals, I mean obviously people always are always setting fitness goals for themselves and oftentimes they don't they don't reach them. What would you tell people? Uh, and what's a common mistake that people make when they're setting and and not achieving these fitness goals? Um, well, there are we all make a lot of mistakes mm -hmm. um, when it comes to especially when it comes to our weight loss goals we kind of we lose we gain we lose we gain and it gets very discouraging so um, but one of the biggest common goal are mistakes I guess that I see is that people make short-term mm. goals for themselves um, whatever they choose to do and however they choose to lose weight if they can do it in a way that is going to be long-term. Mm -hmm. If they can do it in a way that they're going to be able to do it for the rest of their life, mm -hmm. would be a lot more realistic than just doing something short-term um, that's not attainable, seeing short-term results, and then they kind of get a short-term reward out right, of it too. Right, yeah. And then you kind of end up back to where you're at. Right. I always find it interesting because you know people use the term fad diet a lot of times because yeah. you know they're they're diets that don't typically work at least not for the long term sure. but most diets actually will say this is meant to be a long term way of a, a lifestyle change sure. and a lot of people don't don't realize that yeah I really do need to kind of maintain this level of eating and, and activity and so forth if I want to stay at this weight right. so what advice would you give to people who are, are specifically interested in losing weight um, do, I mean, just similar to what we were saying, choose something that is more long-term that is for right. you and then also works for your family lifestyle too. Right. Because it's, it's more than just about yourself. Your, your family is involved. Uh, your kids see what you're doing in the way that you're doing it too and they will mimic you as well. Um, choose things that are, um, especially when it comes to like your nutrition Choose foods that your kids also like. Choose right. things that you and your family can do and make together. Sure. Make it more more of a of a family. You know, it is about ourselves and it's about feeling good ourselves. But bring your family into it as well, and sure. then it's going to make it such more long term. Be realistic about it. And you use the word realistic, and I like that. What is a, a realistic expectation in terms of time frame? You know, when people can expect to see results when they make these changes. Sure. It really, I mean, it depends from person to person, but we really end up feeling the change before we actually see it. We sure. will sleep better. We'll have, mm -hmm. you know, less stress. Maybe when you go to the doctors, our numbers, you know, look a little bit better too. Um, so we don't give ourselves enough credit for that, how we feel things before we would step on the scale or before we would feel it sure. in the way that our clothes are fitting. So give it at least three months. We like to say that, you know, it takes 21 days or whatever to make a habit. But why put that pressure on yourself? Because if day 21 comes and maybe the habit would have continued starting day 25, you know, right. you just kind of set yourself up for failure if you put a limit on it. I'd say give it at least three months um, to be able to feel the difference and then give yourself credit for being able to feel the difference as well. We just have a few seconds left, but I'm wondering if you could describe to us who is your average client? Who's the average person that comes into a &B Fitness Concepts? Um, our average client is just our your normal, average, hardworking um, parent, daughter, son, you know, that is just trying to have everything and have balance in their lives. We're busy. Um, and we're just trying to have the total package of happiness and being physically happy, mentally happy, emotionally happy, and sure. just 
that total package. Yeah. Becky Ingebrigtsen from a and Fitness Concepts, thanks, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Don't go away. There's more Talk of the Town coming up right after this. Stick around.